Thank you, Timmy Thopwe, for taking the time out to join us today. I guess a, a good place to start will be for you to share your take on what you think is fueling this rally that we're seeing at the market. Okay. So um, if you look at what happened last week, we'll see that the market regarded a gain of almost 3% last week. And But if you look further inwards, you see that um, majority of the activities was driven by performance in the banking space, followed by the ICT space. Um, and you, we saw tremendous increase in, in, in uh, volumes traded as well and value traded. Value traded increased by almost 65%, while volumes traded increased by over 45%. Um, so what we notice is that um, is a lot of domestic activities driving um, in, um, buy interest in the equities market space. Um, as we expected, that we we'll have um, over one trillion naira in excess liquidity as um, from Omo maturities in, 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 in September alone, and then we expected that that would um, motivate um, institutional investors to increase their exposure to the equity space, which has driven the rally so far. Now, I know that obviously the outlook, when one looks at the macro indicators, uh, they don't look too bright at the moment. Uh, but despite that, we're still seeing some positive sentiment at the market. However, I couldn't help but notice uh, the, uh, the CBN's 2020 business expectation survey. And in that survey, uh, it said that uh, the survey showed that business organizations were pessimistic about the economy. The survey also showed that respondents' outlook on things like volume, uh, total orders, access to credit, and financial conditions were negative. So going forward, many of these companies, especially in the consumer goods, uh, uh, which is not done too well this year, are still facing these headwinds. So I'm just wondering how uh, investors are balancing the headwinds that these companies are going through, or perhaps will continue to go through for the foreseeable future, and how they balance that with, uh, with still looking for value uh, among some of these stocks. What is your take on that? Um, okay, so my take, the take is that uh, if you look at the performance, right, um, people take position ahead of an upswing or ahead of expected recovery in the economy. So during recession is usually a good time to go into the markets because um, prices are significantly undervalued and it gives you an opportunity to lower your average cost. So it's it's interesting to make take position at that time of the market in, in the market before the upswing. So that presents an opportunity for long-term investors and also for in some of the institutional investors that have long-term perspective in the market. So they take position ahead of the expected recovery in the market. Okay, speaking about taking position, let's talk about your outlook uh, for the market this week. And just looking at the All Share Index year to date, it's currently, as of last week Friday, though, 1.9%. So it would appear that uh, the NSC uh, is reversing some of the losses that we've seen so far this year, although many of the NSC ind indicators are still in the red for the year. But let's talk about your outlook for this week, where you think investors will be looking for value or perhaps okay. just taking shelter. Uh, interestingly, we've noticed that earlier in the year, market has been market performance has been driven by sentiment. But what we are seeing now is, um, given the current economic situation, we are seeing that um, investors are tending towards stocks that have strong um, valuations. And in terms of some are doing um, the dividend play, like stocks that have high dividend deals, like Zenith, GT, um, Dangote Cement. So we've seen that play out so far because we've seen that uh, most of the bellwether stocks, which have attractive dividend yields, have increased significantly in the current period. Um, so what we see is that we expect that given the excess liquidity in the market, we will see continuous increase in exposure to the domestic equity space, um, both from retail investors and institutional investors going forward. And they try to lower the average cost and also take um, position ahead of expected recovery. Okay, we have about one minute left. Are there any stocks uh, on your radar, perhaps from the consumer goods sector that you will be uh, keeping an eye on? Um, definitely. So apart from even the, within the consumer goods space, so we have the likes of Nestle um, for dividend play. We have the likes of Dangote Sugar as well. And we have the likes of flour mills. And um, also outside of that, we look at the Beery space, which have taken significant beats in the recent period because of um, current economic situation and, and um, industry specific um, situations. And we've seen like um, over the last week, Nigerian Beery's and Guinness, they've recorded um, increase 
and we expect that to continue as the companies are trying to position themselves and it gives opportunities to lower average costs. So we see opportunities in that space as well. We see um, significant upside in that space as well.